I will tell you how to do the wiring of an AC rotary compressor used in air conditioners and many HVAC machines. If the compressor is a single phase and works on 220 volts or 120 volts, then how will you wire and find the terminal of this compressor? Normally common running and starting are written on this compressor. But if the compressor is of this type, where common running and starting is not written, I will explain you in detail how to find it. First, you have to understand what is this common, running and starting. And how are they fitted inside this rotary compressor? The rotary compressor has these types of coils installed inside them. These coils are installed as running, starting and common inside the rotary compressor. Now let me tell you how they are arranged as common, running, and starting through the diagram. This is the first coil, and this is the second coil. I don't know which is the running and the starting coil. And how do we get the third terminal, as it has four points? The two ends of the coil are joined together, and thus, we get three points or terminals on the compressor, which I will find out, which is CRS. I have written CRS here, which is common, starting, and running. If I directly write the CRS on the coils, it will make no sense as I don't know which coil is common, run, and start. So I will randomly write X, Y, and Z on the coils to find out CRS. Now I will make pairs of these X, Y, and Z. Three pairs will be made. The first pair is X and Y. The second is Y and Z. The third is X and Z. To wire the CRS and to find them, resistance values are measured between them. The resistance is represented by ohms and kilo ohms. When I measure the resistance of the X and Y, the resistance of the coil on the left and the resistance of the coil on the right will be added together and will be shown. The common terminal on the compressor will be the Z terminal because it has been made common by joining the other ends of the coils. By checking the resistance value on X and Y, we should get the highest values between them. So means that the Z is common. Now we have a problem that whether the running winding is installed between Y and Z or the start winding is installed between X and Z. So for that, now I will suppose that Z and Y are the start winding. Always remember that the resistance reading between the starting and common will be medium value. So I am writing medium on the Y and Z. The running coil of the compressor is the X and Z. And the running and the common terminal always have the lowest resistance values. According to what I have supposed here, the Y is the start point, and the X is the run point. This means the resistance value between the start and run is high. The start and common will have the medium resistance value. The run and the common have the lowest resistance values. Always remember this formula. I hope you understand the theory through the diagram. Now I will show the procedure practically. I have attached masking tape to the compressor. The compressor has three terminals. Now the formula I told you would apply here. I am writing X over here. Y on the left side. And I am writing Z on the top. I have already written the pairs as well. Now I will find out the resistance values of the compressor. I have set the multimeter on resistance mode. Now I will test the values between the X and Y. The multimeter showed 2.8 ohms. I am writing 2.8 on the X and Y. Now I will check the reading on the Y and Z terminals. It is showing 3.9 ohms on these terminals. I am writing 3.9 with Y and Z. Now I will check the readings between the X and Z. I am getting 6.5 ohms between them. The highest value is at X and Z, which is the highest value. Now according to the formula which I told you. The resistance with the highest value is between X and Z. This means the Y is the common terminal, according to the formula I told you and practically. Now the medium value is between the Y and Z. This means that Z is the starting terminal. And now, only one terminal is left which means X is the run terminal. The lowest value is between the X and Y. And this is how you can wire and find the terminals of the rotary compressor. The formula I told you before, just remember that, and you will easily be able to check and find the values of any compressor. And at last, when the compressor starts, the start winding separates, and it has no load on it. All the load is transferred to the run winding. The run windings rotate the rotor and the motor simultaneously. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.